Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with another Fan TV. Back at you another video. Hey, look, I'm about 125 soul subscribers away from hitting that 1,000. If y'all watch the videos and I subscribe, I mean, come on, man. Hit that subscribe button. If y'all like what I say, think I'm informative, whatever the case may be, go ahead, hit that subscribe button for me, man. All right, look, this offseason is a legacy-defining offseason for Eric DaCosta, okay, uh, for multiple reasons. Obviously, there's Lamar Jackson. Obviously, there's the officer coordinator. There's wide receivers. There's a football team that's pretty complete and pretty built all around, uh, but they're missing a couple final pieces. And it's up to the general manager to get that done. Now, Eric DaCosta generally has been, he's been a pretty good, I would say, decent general manager, okay? I would say that if I had to give Eric DaCosta a grade so far for his tenure in Baltimore as far as just being the GM, it's a BB plus, right? I can't say an A just because Ravens haven't made that AFC championship game. Ravens haven't had that wide receiver position filled out, all right? And listen, let's talk about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is your quarterback, your franchise, your, your star player. And you haven't been able to get a deal signed with him. You haven't been able to put the pieces around him on the outside to make it so that when the playoffs come, the pressure's taken off of him. I mean, look at the games yesterday, right? For And congrats to the Chiefs. Congrats to the um, the Eagles making the Super Bowl, right? But look at the catch Devontae Smith made. One hand, fourth down, going up. Now, they're going to say he bobbled in on the ground, but... There's not a player on the Raiders that can make that kind of play, all right? The Bengals lost, but look at T. Higgins in the back of the end zone. Look at Jamar Chase on fourth and six. The list goes on and on and on, right? Debo Samuel, you get the ball in his hands, he can turn five into 80. These are the kind of playmakers Lamar Jackson hasn't had around him, and this is the offseason for Eric DaCosta to try to do something about it. Also, like I said before, offensive coordinator. Now, you were tied at the hip with Greg Roman for the last three, four years. Now, this is your time to put a stamp on it and really say this is the direction we want the team to go in at offensive coordinator. Right now, to me, this is the most important thing Greg Roman, I'm sorry, the most important thing Eric Costa has to do in his tenure is getting the offensive coordinator right. And why is that? Because if the offensive coordinator is right, Lamar Jackson likes him, that's the marriage right there. That can help you. But if you have a guy where Lamar Jackson doesn't like the offensive coordinator, he feels like the offense is going backwards. It's going in a place where he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want it to be. That's going to hurt negotiations. So everything that comes down to this offseason is nothing about this offseason is going to be normal for Ravens fans. Let me be quite honest with you, all right? Um, the scrutiny and the pressure of having a star QB who is pretty much out of a contract um, is something that the Ravens don't know really too well, too much about. Now, Joe Flacco in 2012 won Super Bowl, things like that, but the situation was different. There were fans that, you know, for legitimate reasons, could say that, you know, Joe Flacco was up and down, great in the playoffs, not so great in the regular season, things like that. And then just letting them go was a, a distinct possibility. But Lamar Jackson is a little different just because of the MVP, the Pro Bowls, things like that. Just the kind of player that he has been throughout his career. That's not the kind of player a GM lets to walk out the building, right? Now, if things go the other way and, they, and the Ravens decide to trade Lamar Jackson, now you got to be known as the general manager who traded Lamar Jackson, right? Now, if you make that move, you got to build the team correctly because this team is right on the cups of winning the championship, right? Look at the defense. It's built all the way up. Now, you can say they might need a, one or two edge rushers, sure. They need another cornerback to replace probably Marcus Peters if he doesn't come back. But if Marcus Peters comes back, the corner position is good. Edge rusher, I think it's good. You got... You traded a second-round pick in this year's draft for Roquan Smith. You subbed the linebacking duo that was very, very good throughout the season. Right? Ro Roquan and Patrick Queen, great. Marcus Williams, great signing last year in the offseason. Kyle Hamilton, great draft pick. He kind of, he came on kind of midway through the end of the season, and he was, he was dominant in the position that the Ravens asked him to play. So this team is not anywhere where it's like <laughs> – if you um you could just drop anybody in, no, I'm not saying that. But they're a team that's built up with the right quarterback to win the championship. Like I said, I'll say it again. Look at the Eagles, man. Look at the Eagles. The Ravens and the Eagles should be it's almost like looking at yourself in the mirror, right? The Eagles are doing everything the Ravens should have did. And twenty nineteen after twenty nineteen coming in twenty twenty, Stefan Diggs was made available. The Ravens should have made that move and did whatever it took to get Stefan Diggs here. Right. 
after 2020 playoffs, we were realizing that it wasn't working with Greg Roman's offense. People were frustrated. Hollywood wants out because he wanted out not just this past offseason, but even the offseason before that. Okay? The Ravens should have made a move and got rid of Greg Roman. So this right here for Eric DaCosta is the biggest offseason he's ever going to be a part of because the draft is going to be important. What do you do with the five selections that you have? Are you going to add more talent to the receiver room? Are you going to build up the defense some more? Because the Ravens have shown they will pay for defense up and down the field. Of course they will, right? Roquan, Marcus Peters, they'll pay the different guys on defense. It's time to do the same thing with the offensive side of the ball. The offensive side of the ball is built up except for wide receiver. If you sign Lamar Jackson, your quarterback is there. Your running back room is good. Your tight end room is good. Your O-line, I think the O-line is pretty good. I know people have problems with the O-line, but for me, I thought the O-line was remarkably better than it was two years ago. And so I, I, I have no problem with the O-line. Could you have an upgrade here and there? Sure, right? But um, you got you to do something about left guard because they, you know, they're making it seem like you know Ben Powers is probably going to be out the door because he played himself played so well that he's going to earn some money somewhere else. So you know, it is what it is on that scenario. But for Eric DaCosta, you have a team that's right there on winning the championship, bro. Look at the Bengals in the AFC Championship game, right? The Ravens gave their offense the toughest test. All right, the Bengals, um, sorry, the Chiefs did a really good job on Joe Burrow. They sat them a couple times. Uh, but as far as they allowed the explosive plays that the Ravens just didn't allow, there was no explosives to T. Higgins. There was no explosives to Jamar Chase, right? The Bengals got that multiple times on the Chiefs, and it almost what almost won the game, right? Uh, the Chiefs pulled it all in the end. But the thing is for Eric DaCosta, the Ravens are right there. The Ravens are right there. So as the GM, I know you see that. The fans see that. I know you see that. I know you think that. The Ravens had this mentality of, we just want to be there every year. And, you know, if we get hot at the end of the season, we can make a run to the Super Bowl. That's that's not a successful formula. It hasn't worked for the last 10 years. So how about making a plan to say, hey, look, you don't have to go all in. But you have to make moves that dictate that we're trying to win the Super Bowl this season. The Eagles still... Eagles kind of went all in, right? They made trades. They had big signings, but they got stuff where they still have flexibility for their future. It's possible to do both things. You don't have to be the Rams, right? There's a way to do this. There's a way to do the scenario in the fact that the Ravens are built to win the championship next season and still be good for years to come. I'm letting you know that scenario where Lamar Jackson is no longer a Raven. You train him for a couple first round picks. That's great. Sounds awesome. In, in a hypothetical world, but then you still have to find a quarterback. You still got to find a quarterback, and you still got to get wide receivers for whoever that quarterback is. So for Eric DaCosta, this offseason is going to be the one where Ravens fans look at and say this was either a turning point and a seed franchise going up or going down. Simple as that. Um, your legacy is tied to Lamar Jackson. If Lamar Jackson, you sign Lamar Jackson, he plays well, you're, 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 the brilliant, you're the brilliant GM who got it done and built the team around him to finally push us over the top. If you trade Lamar Jackson, he goes somewhere else, plays well, Super Bowl, whatever, and we in the franchise that's middling, can't find a quarterback, haven't been able to re reproduce the same success as previous, that could get you fired. Right? This offseason is immense for Eric DeCosta. He's a lifelong Raven. He's been here for a long time. But this is the kind of pressure that even Ozzy Newsom really wasn't under before. So this is all new in all facets. Because like I said, Joe Flacco was a good quarterback. He was never a superstar quarterback. And that's the major, major difference between right now and back then. So Eric DaCosta, you got to do something. You really got to do something. So for me, I'm watching closely to see what Eric DaCosta does because this is the offseason that's going to define him the most as the Ravens GM. Let me know what you guys think, man. It's your boy Gary with another fan TV. I'm out.